20 style tips, how to always look put together and polished. I really like my outfits to feel chic, stylish and elegant. And these days it does feel pretty natural for me to put outfits together this way. But a quick look at some of my old pictures reminds me that it wasn't always so easy. I made a lot of style mistakes. But after years of working in fashion, experimenting and listening on set to every hat going, I quickly learned the style tips that really do work. So this video is 20 of my favourite. Keep it simple. I've always been a fan of the style mantra, less is more. But when it comes to looking put together and polished, keeping things really simple is an absolute must for me. It's not impossible, but you are making your job so much harder if you're wearing quite complicated outfits. By that, I mean lots of different elements all at the same time, a very busy outfit as such. When you keep things simple and refined, chances are you're going to look it. Only bring one statement piece into the mix, Try not to over accessorize, swerve any fussy details and be careful when it comes to embellishments too. Bold prints can look incredible, but it's not the easiest look to pull off. Though I've always loved timeless style, my outfits in my 20s were far more fussy than they are now. I've learned the hard way via a few awful outfits that really didn't work that it's very hard to pull off. Master the art of keeping it simple and your outfits will thank you for it later. Edit, edit and re-edit your wardrobe regularly. I declutter and reorganize my wardrobe a lot. Part of that is because of my job, obviously, and I do have an unusual amount of clothes, which I absolutely don't think you need to have. But I can't tell you how handy the process is for your wardrobe. Through the twists and turns of life, our style evolves. So it's time to take a really hard look at your wardrobe and donate those pieces that you just don't wear anymore. Instead, collate a collection of pieces that really do say who you are now. I like to create little selections of go-to outfits when I'm doing this, and I photograph them on my phone so I've got an easy reference as well. Be realistic. As per the style tip before, don't forget to be realistic about your own lifestyle. Fashion shoots look amazing, of course, but they're heavily styled to look absolutely perfect in that very moment, which doesn't mean that they will when you're on the tube at 7 a.m. in the morning on your way into work. Genuinely think about your lifestyle, where you'll be wearing these clothes that you spent your hard-earned pennies on, and then tick those boxes accordingly. Develop your own uniform. One of the easiest ways to always look put together is to have your own uniform. And if you go through that process of decluttering and really organizing your wardrobe, it'll start to become obvious what that uniform should be. For example, you might notice that you reach for blazers every other day. And if you're anything like me, you'll be pairing them with a classic white t-shirt or maybe a blouse, a pair of jeans, or some smart trousers. That's often my default look. So I know that I can feel safe buying pieces like that in the highest quality I can afford. I know they're gonna get worn a lot. Be an outfit repeater. And with that uniform, don't be afraid to wear them on repeat. You might know that you wore a similar pair of tailored trousers and a jumper yesterday, but I bet you no one else would even notice. Perfect what your ideal uniform is, the look that really suits your lifestyle and makes you feel stylish and chic when you wear it. And then style it in every combination you could think of. I hazard a guess you'll save some pennies and you'll look even more polished as a result. Outerwear. Whatever uniform you decide is right for you, investing in high quality outerwear is never a bad idea. When it comes to looking chic, a great coat can actually do the heavy lifting for you. It can quite literally transform a whole look, instantly pulling even the most casual of outfits together. While I'll admit I do find the purchase of a beautiful coat quite painful on my bank balance, I don't think I've ever actually regretted it in the end. In fact, I'd go so far as to say that if I could only buy one thing to make me look more chic and put together, I would always choose a beautiful coat. For evening, think about laying your coat or blazer over your shoulders for instant fashionista points. No, it's not exactly practical, but you will look more polished. Elevated basics. I don't think you would ever regret investing in elevated basics. I know that I certainly haven't. But I try and look at the basics of my wardrobe as, say, the core pillar. If I get that part right, if I get my core really sturdy, everything else that I put on top of it will just hang right. So the core for me would be a blazer, a long coat, 
a classic white shirt, maybe a beautiful pair of flats, for instance. Focusing on ensuring those core basics are all beautiful quality and timeless in design makes the rest of my outfit all fall into place so much easier. Don't forget to let me know your favorite style tips in the comment section below as we go along. Or maybe you've got a style secret that never fails. Don't forget to let me know your thoughts. Look for timeless pieces. There are times, of course, when I'm not shopping for basics, so I try and remember to keep those purchases timeless, even if, say, they're particularly on trend. Unless you have money to burn, of course, you want to get longevity out of your wardrobe. So even if you do follow the trends and you integrate them into your outfit ideas, I try and introduce the ones that also have a timeless quality about them too. Now, not only does that help me look more put together, but it's a better use of my pennies all round tailored. I always try to mix up my outfits no matter how casual they might be so that I have some element of tailoring into the look. So for example I might want to wear my joggers and trainers and then I will add in a tailored coat just to give it that extra polish. Or maybe I'm cold and I want to feel snuggled when I'm heading out for dinner. Then I'll pair a big chunky knit with tailored trousers like this. The contrast of that high to the low always works wonders and the tailoring piece will always be the one that stands out the most. And it's not just tailoring that this works with. Think about that contrast when it comes to fabrics too. One of my favorite skirt looks would be this beautiful silk midi that I got from a brand called By Committee, paired with my super laid back jumper. The relaxed jumper lets the silk skirt steal the show as you would want it to, and then the overall look feels more luxurious as a result. Balance your silhouette. Balancing out your proportions can be one of the easiest ways to looking more put together. Know your shape and make the best of what you have instead of worrying what you don't. I wasted years wishing I had been born super skinny. I was modeling too, so that really didn't help matters, but I always tried hard to fight against what my natural womanly shape is. So many stupid diets later, and I finally realized that embracing the shape I do have had a wonderful overall effect on my look too. Now I buy the size that fits the best and I don't worry what number it says. I go for pieces that flatter my shape, skimming over my hips elegantly and tapering in to balance out that width. Or I might add in a puff shoulder to balance out my hips, accentuating my waist and then giving me more of an hourglass shape, which is never a bad idea. Whatever shape you're born with, embrace it and work it to your favor. Start with your best bit and balance out your silhouette from there. This is definitely one tip I wish I could tell my 18 year old self. Take care of your clothes. It might seem simple, but I can't tell you the amount of times I've seen people over on Instagram who I might add are in the business of sharing designers collections and they haven't even bothered to iron the piece. It's definitely a surefire way of making your outfit look truly awful, I know that much. Treat your clothes however much they cost with the care and attention they deserve and they will repay you in polish. I iron everything obsessively. I hang everything too, which is handy when putting outfits together that they're all there to look at. But if you're short on space, take a picture of a pile of clothes that you're about to put in your drawers. It's handy to remind yourself what you've actually got in there. I hand wash most of my knits rather than wasting too much money on dry cleaning, but don't forget to dry them flat or you'll end up with weird shapes on your shoulders. Talking from experience there. Ultimately, I take care of my clothes because I want them to last. I've often saved my pennies for the nicest quality I can afford. So I think it would really hurt if I saw them crumpled on the floor. Wear what you like, not just what's in fashion. How to always look put together and chic. Don't throw on three fashion trends at once, even if you did spend a small fortune on them and you want to show them off. In fact, I would highly advise only investing in a trend if it really suits you. From past experience, I know that not all trends will suit everyone. For example, I love the midriff cutout dresses that will be doing the rounds for another season, but on me, they look pretty horrendous. It's a trend I know that if I want to partake, I need to do it in a more subtle fashion that suits my body shape. For a while, I love to take a deep dive into the fashion trends each season and incorporate them into my outfit ideas, I only do so when I know that they truly suit me. Power pose. 
I love the power pose and I really do think it works. It's something to reach for when you're feeling a little bit self-conscious or perhaps nervous before a meeting. And in social situations too, you don't need to go all out Superman mode with your hands on your hips. Just the very action of focusing on your stance, rolling your shoulders back, holding your head up high and taking some slow, deep breaths can really work wonders to your overall look, but also obviously how you feel. Good posture always stands out for the right reasons. Stand tall, hold your head up high, and you'll give the illusion of someone who looks put together, even if you're not quite feeling it just yet. Write a list of everything you need. Now I tend to do this during my decluttering and organizing of my wardrobe. I mentally register the trends that I do want to join in with, and I see what I already have that will tick those boxes. Whatever's missing gets put on a list for if and when I find the perfect piece. It really helps me stay within budget and avoid shiny things that I don't really need along the way. Take care of your hair and skin. A bit like taking care of your clothes, taking care of your skin, hair and nails, seems really obvious, but it's often forgotten, from myself included. It takes me a long while to get around to getting my nails done. As you can see today, they look particularly awful. But every time I do, I think, oh, that feels so much better. I feel really polished, literally. You all know that feeling of skipping out the hair salon with freshly cut hair. It quite literally gives you a spring in your step and makes you stand a bit taller, feel a little bit refreshed, both inside and out. So taking care of all of those elements can really make a difference to how you look, but most importantly, how you feel as well. Another note to this point would be how you actually do your hair and makeup. Like your actual clothes, keep it simple and refined. I personally think it's nice to see someone's skin peeping through their foundation, rather than just one big heavy matte base. Hair that's flowing and shiny rather than glued to within an inch of its life with a can of hairspray. They're all little details of course, but when you add them all up, it can make a huge difference to your overall look. Do the hair tuck. Thinking of hair, simply leaving your hair tucked into your jumpers can give you instant fashionista points. It's a silly one, I know, but try it. It actually does look quite chic. Monochrome. I've mentioned this a few times before in my videos, but going monochrome with your outfit in one column of color or non-color for that matter will instantly make you look more elevated. It happens to be one of the big fashion trends for 2022 as well. And it makes you look taller too, which is definitely nothing to be sniffed at. Make sure your clothes fit. I hesitated adding this one in as I do have a bit of a soft spot for the oversized trend. However, when I'm not wanting something to look a little bit slouchy, I always make sure I find the size that fits me really, really well. Like I mentioned before, if that means I have to buy a size up, then so be it. I really don't care. I just want the perfect fit on my waist and my hips, and I know that my outfit will thank me for it later. Getting refitted for a bra. It's really worth getting measured by specialists at least once a year. Our shapes change with time and even without too much time at all. You could easily go up or down a cup size in a year. And this can make a huge difference to the overall look of your outfits. Focus from the inside out. Get that base layer sitting perfectly and you'll find everything else drapes over the top so much better than before. Sunnies. If all of these style tips before don't work, there's always that foolproof measure of adding your sunnies. If it's okay for Anna Winter, it's definitely okay for me. And the older I get, the more I like this style tip for the added bonus of hiding my eyes when they look tired. Two for the price of one. Hi, <laughs> sparkle. <laughs> I really hope you've enjoyed this video and hearing about my top 20 style tips that I try and remember when I'm wanting to look put together and chic. Don't forget to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. It's always really lovely hearing from you all. And if you're not already subscribed, that would be really appreciated too. Have a great week, everyone, and I shall see you next Sunday.